yet I find myself CEO of a company that's trying to create the next great American sport. Round net, the game, easy to learn, difficult to master. So now, the drop shot over the head of Jared Rouse. Chris only has two more chances to make a deal for his backyard game, Spikeball. Call it even at 20. We're done. I'm Chris Ritter, CEO of Spikeball, and this is my hustle. Teams are played two on two. To serve, hit the ball off the net. To return, you have up to three touches to hit it back off the net. After the serve, players can move and hit the ball from anywhere they choose. There are no boundaries. When the ball hits the ground, the rim bounces more than once on the net or isn't returned to the net in three touches, the opposing team receives a point. First team to 21 wins. Welcome to Spikeball HQ. We are here in the Fulton Market neighborhood of Chicago. Um, as you can see, beautiful space here. If you wanna come on over here, I'll show you some of the products that we make. This is the Spikeball Rookie Set. This is our Spikeball Standard Set. So this is, I'd say, you know, close to 90, 80 to 90% of our sales, bringing your, your game up a level. This is in the Spikeball Pro Set here. Overall, last year revenues, last year being 2018, we did about 18 and a half million. Um, that's up significantly from year one, which was $10,882. So, uh, very happy with the way things are trending. So, you know, we were playing on the beach in Kauai and all sorts of people walking up to us and asking us like, hey, what's that game? Where can I get it? Finally in 2007 or so, something like that. It's like, all right, I'm gonna talk to uh, some attorneys and see if we can actually uh, legally bring this thing back to life. Our main strategy is figuring out how to get people who currently own the product to use it more often. We help players find new people to play with via our, our mobile app. The main purpose of the Spikeball app is to connect players with other players nearby. So I can go ahead at the top over here and create a new game. Um, I'm gonna choose a pickup game, click next. to so show you exactly where the game is located, when it's going to be played. Over here is our players tab. You'll see exactly which players are located near you. Another feature of our app is the feed. So it's similar to like an Instagram or a Facebook feed where um, you can just scroll and people can post pictures and other people can like and comment on those photos. It's how the community is sort of organically taken shape and just seeing all these relationships happening. We've, we've met a handful of people that met their spouses uh, by you through using our product. We love UGC, user-generated content, is awesome. My favorite stuff is sometimes it's like modifying sets. There, people will add like lights to their sets so they can play at night, or they'll connect like extra pieces and make like a long set because they can like put together multiple sets. Recently, we've had like people digging sand pits at the beach and playing in a hole. People playing like on a raft in the middle of a lake. Like it's cool when people just play the game like in a different way than you usually see. Today we're having a spike ball tournament at uh, Point Pleasant, Jenks Inlet. I've been running spike ball events for about seven years. We have 160 teams from Canada, California, Texas, Chicago are all here to try to prove that they're the best in the country. And this is the biggest tournament of the year so far. We've been a team since the beginning of this season, so our first tournament was in May. But we do love to see women representing out there, so we're the first to be a premier qualified women's team, awesome probably play twice a week during the week and then travel every other weekend, maybe every weekend during the summer often to, to train and play in tournaments. I love spike ball because the community is the best part about the whole, the whole sport. The other thing I think <laughs> that makes us hard to beat is uh, the fact that we've been playing together for a number of years and there's a lot of team chemistry there, there's a lot of just friendship outside of spike ball as well as a ton of time spent playing spike ball together. Yeah. Um, and so that just gives us kind of an edge over teams who haven't been playing as long as us together. My hustle means to me doing what you love. Yeah, we launched in June, had a newborn full-time job, and then spike ball was kind of the, the part-time job. Start around nine o'clock or so every night from nine until maybe one or two in the morning. Go to bed, go to my day job, basically do it again. And that went on for about five years. In 2013, it grew to be big enough, a million dollars in annual revenue with zero full-time employees. It's still a side job. So at that point, my wife and I agreed it was safe for me to quit the day job and go full time. That's, that's been my hustle, my version of it, um, and uh, I'm very, very grateful for it. Hey guys, Chris here, CEO of Spikeball. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to The Whistle. Thanks.